was wrong. Um, well, uh, for Mariana, who is not a modern woman, it's a humiliating experience. So that's, you know, essentially how I play it in the movie. Uh, because obviously she's not like, oh, great. You know, um, I mean, think about how much clothing people wore at that time. <laughs> you know, showing a bit of skin was something awful. And I, I believe at that time Protestants wore a lot more clothing than uh, Catholics. Um, depends on the area and stuff like that. At that time, people were sometimes wearing these, like, huge ruffs and everything around their necks. Um, uh, for me, I don't know. It's okay. I I would be feel really, really uncomfortable taking off my clothes just in front of people. Like, say I had to like get up on a stage and take my clothes off. This is kind of something that I would never do. Really, it, I would never do that. But when you do it in a movie, it's you know for a scene. Do you see what I mean? It's like you're trying to portray something. So it's not me anymore. You know. It's about the scene and about what's going on in the scene. Mm -hmm. And how did it feel when you were shooting that particular scene there, the first time you get undressed in that movie? Um, well, it, it was okay, I guess. I mean, you know, it was fun. Cool. I don't really have a problem with yeah. doing that, you know, for a movie. You were strung up and whipped. Right. Um, oh, well, I'm, I'm somebody who can, like, kind of, like, you know, hold on to something and hang by my hand or wrist for a pretty long period of time because I'm kind of, like, small. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, we decided that it would be fun if I were, like, actually up off the ground. It's, I, I like that because, like, there's more room for movement, mm -hmm. you know? And I, I find that, you know, like, moving... A, you know, trying to move away from the whip and trying to do that is it makes for more dramatic postures. You know, like and the movement is very dramatic, and and I like that. You know, when I look at stills from the movie and the movie itself, I you know I find the 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 image you know interesting mm -hmm. and dramatic. And the rack. The rack. The rack was kind of. Uh, off. <laughs> I, I built the rack and um, designed the, the metal um, roller at the head, you know, that does the stretching. And, you know, I thought about doing it a bunch of different ways, and we settled on ropes. And, uh, you know, in order to kind of have some realism, you know, there's like, there is a bit of stretching involved in that. So, you know, when we took off the ropes, there were like indentations, you know, and it, it didn't look so pretty. And I was kind of like, ah, I can't feel my hands. Yeah. Um, you know, not, nothing permanent, but it's, it's not easy doing a scene like that. Um, it's also really, you know, we want to scream, obviously, because it hurts. But when you're stretched, you know, with your hands up and like you, you can't get much air into your diaphragm. Um, it's different, you know, being suspended by a wrist or something like that because you can actually move this part of your body back up and breathe more. You know, you have more power to do that. Um, with the rack, you can't do that. And so, uh, um, and so what happens is you can't get a lot of air in, and so there's not a lot of air out. And when you're being stretched like that and your arms are up like this, it's like I, this kind of... <laughs> More like a squealing noise, you know, at least for me, comes out of me. And I found that kind of funny, actually.